absolutely. <laughs> well, what's the reason that Christy Mathewson had a role in uncovering the 1919 Black Sox scandal? Well, he was asked by the New York Times to uh, to cover the World Series with Hugh Fullerton, the famous sports writer at the time. And uh, Mathewson had just come back from the war and was just starting to deal with his tuberculosis illness. And uh, this is because he was the manager of the Cincinnati Reds before he went off to war, and they were the team playing the Chicago White Sox in the series in 1919. He was the perfect analyst, as it were, to uh, to do a column with mm -hmm. Hugh Fullerton. And when he was in Cincinnati, he noticed some of the White Sox players, uh, Joe Jackson and Eddie Seacott and Chick Gandil and Swede Risberg, a few fellows, speaking with a fellow named Hal Chase, who was one of the greatest players to ever play the game, one of the best first basemen's ever, but who played under Matthewson at Cincinnati and was shaving games, was throwing ball games while he was playing at Cincinnati. Matthewson, when he was manager of Cincinnati, had Chase suspended for indifferent playing. So when he saw him talking with some of the White Sox players, uh, Chase, it turns out, probably wasn't involved with getting the White Sox to throw the World Series, but he wanted to know if it was okay to put a bet on him. Mm -hmm. And being a fellow player, you know, he was dealing with him. It made, it made Matthewson suspicious. He told his superstition, his suspicions to Hugh Fullerton, who then, you know, so he, Hugh Fullerton, and Ring Lardner together started watching the series very differently and started circling uh, the questionable plays. And then it was a full year later before the league's mm. indictment came out and it went to trial. That's fascinating. Is it still uh, against the rules to play indifferently? I think a lot of people could be caught on that these a days. Absolutely. Uh, Judge Landis, when he became the first commissioner of baseball, made it very clear in the rules that if you, it's the reason why Pete Rose has been banned from baseball, mm. not because he was accused of throwing uh, or betting on baseball games, but it is clear if you do bet on baseball, you're banned for life. Mm -hmm. If you do something derogatory toward the game, you're banned for life. Now, it seems to be a double standard because some fellows, you know, have a drug problem, which would could be considered the same thing or even less than Pete Rose not paying his income taxes. Sure. But you know, it, it. But the rules are there, and it states very clearly what your eligibility can be from your actions in the game. One last question: uh, product endorsements, which we hear a lot about these mm -hmm. days, uh, that wasn't new back in 1960. Not at all. In fact, uh, uh, Matthewson was uh, he endorsed uh, Tuxedo Tobacco, uh, Coca-Cola. Uh, in fact, he got into Coca-Cola because Ty Cobb, uh, who was from Georgia, started putting his money into this Atlanta bottling company stock, and he became. Cobb became a millionaire before he he quit playing baseball mm. just based on Coca-Cola. Um, and they did other things. Uh, Matthewson was asked to put his name to a, a pool hall uh, here in New York City, but he decided against it because his mother said, you don't really want your name over a pool hall, do you? So things like that. So they were constantly asked to, to endorse uh, things back then, underwear, tobacco, oh. pipes, whatever. So nothing's new. Nothing's new. Thanks to Eddie Frierson, the star writer of Maddie, now playing at the Lambs Theater on West 44th Street, for joining us. An evening with Christy Mathewson. <laughs>